Hi everyone, it's Veronica here from Vintage Meat Modern. I'm just trying to brighten up our focus here and get things looking good for all of you. How are you? Happy St. Patrick's Day. Uh, here we are. We have got an amazing trays of gorgeous pieces that have been sourced from all over the world. I'm excited to talk a little bit about them with you, give you a little bit of history, hopefully inspire you to wear some of these beautiful pieces and add them to your collection. So if it's your first time joining us, please go ahead and say hi. I'm Veronica Stout. I'm the founder of Vintage Beat Modern Jewelry and Styling. I love getting to spend time with all of you on Wednesday evening. Uh, chatting with you a little bit about fabulous vintage jewelry pieces, getting together to celebrate the joy of jewelry and also celebrating empowering, elevated personal style. And yes, I want to wish you all a very happy St. Patrick's Day. Uh, let me know if you can hear me okay. Be sure to tell us where you're from. Uh, and boy, what a difference a day could make. Yesterday was snowing. Today, during the day, it was like sort of nice out and now it's just pouring rain so definitely have got everything going on here in chicago so well we have a lot of beautiful pieces and i'm very excited to start showing them off as always dun, 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 i start off showing off some of my favorite pieces uh and of course tonight i'm starting with this fabulous craft not as in craft, as in going to Michael's or Joann's or Hobby Lobby's. Uh, there was a wonderful jewelry company that was named Craft, K-R-A-F-T, though just like the craft, uh, that did a lot of really nice jewelry in the 60s, 70s, and the 80s. Many of their pieces are sort of characteristic for what I believe is sort of the mogul style. And a few of you even have pieces from them. Uh, they are also known for their figural jewelry. I know at least one person in our group has a tiger that looks very much like the Gucci tiger. And that's what I always like to remind people, that if you're looking for those high-end couture look and feel, but for a fraction of the price, and you can definitely also study the way that the trends, you know, something that you might have seen a few years ago, things definitely do come around again. So, of course, one of the beauties of classic vintage jewelry is that these styles definitely will be relevant again in the future. But there are also ways to really elevate and make your style distinctive now. So I have on this gorgeous craft necklace. I like this because it does truly have that true mogul feeling. It has the faux lapis, the carnelian, and it has the jade in it. I actually was talking to another jewelry stylist today and we were talking about how that these flat link chains are actually perfect because you can also layer up other pieces with them too. It's just really easy to be able to layer things up with flat link chains. Now, I, of course, also like this piece because it has a small accent of the Diamante rhinestones, which means that it's perfect to add with other diamond stud jewelry, maybe some other small gold jewelry you have. So it's very easy to mix it and match. Also, if you've got some gold and silver eternity rings, there's just lots of ways to be able to work this in. Also, as always, I love to point out that all of these pieces are really, truly easy to wear with what real women actually have hanging in their closet. That's no, uh, I guess you could say that says nothing about people who love dressing in vintage every day or wear vintage clothing every day. My experience, though, is, is that most of the women who shop with us at Vintage Meet Modern are looking for something that is actually hanging in their closet or something that they would like to get uh, at one of the more modern stores because it fits them more appropriately, myself included. So I have on just a simple scoop neck. Um, this is a top from Banana Republic. It was like a $25 top. It's something that I wear very easily. Uh, I love being able to fill something that is a neckline, but also something that is not super revealing. So for me, this is always a good fit and a good flattering style in order to be able to really enjoy wearing necklaces, as well as being able to wear earrings too. So whatever floats your boat, but this is another easy one. So the mogul necklace is one of my favorite ones. Definitely one that you can easily be able to dress up as well. So, you know, you can picture this with your favorite little black dress. You could pull out any of the colors that you see in here for a very dynamic look and style. So if you like a jade or an emerald green, uh, maybe you have a pretty wrap top. This would be a beautiful piece. It's also very comfortable, as I mentioned, and it also has a flat back open clasp so it's very easy to get on and off i'll go ahead and tell you and then here i don't know if you'll be able to hear or not there's your snap test it does have a very nice secure clasp now 
Before I go on any further, as I talk about fabulous rhinestone pieces, I think everyone is probably going to say, I have been waiting to see the vintage Christian Dior necklace live tonight and just see how sparkly it is. Well, ladies, I would like you all to congratulate, though I don't know if she's watching us and I'm not even sure if she found us through Facebook or Instagram or one of our social media channels, but she was packed up today, that gorgeous vintage Kramer necklace, and she is off to a new forever home. So for those of you who were waiting to see her tonight, uh, she was packed up with a lot of love and a care earlier today. So congratulations to the woman who added that fantastic piece to their collection because it really truly was a rarity. So, um, but for those of you who love sparkle, uh, this is another gorgeous piece. I like this one now because as you can see, this one has this very beautiful, it has that elongated V uh, or that sort of Y style drop, which is always a very flattering style because it elongates your neck. So this one's a gorgeous piece. As you can see, it's very sparkly. Uh, we had a different pair of earrings that went with it, and that one also sold this week. So rhinestones are beginning to become hot, hot, hot. Uh, we typically, typically think about those pieces more during the holiday season, but I know also I think that uh, we do have a lovely lady on here. We have Marie who's on here too, and we were chatting behind the scenes rhinestones and crystals and sparkly pieces we're seeing trending all over and from a variety of different stores everything from h&m to banana republic to j crew to chico's uh you know and we're not just talking about our higher end department stores but for those of you who are looking for something to wear with a little bit of sparkle remember these pieces go a long way and you don't just have to rock them with black velvet this is equally appropriate with wearing a fun graphic tee pair of skinny jeans or maybe cigarette pants and then some cute ballet flats or even a pair of heels if that's what floats your boat. But also very easily to be able to wear with a white shirt, tucked into jeans, cute belt, collar popped up, uh, and just a hint of sparkle with maybe even some cute wedges or some cute, um, I've been seeing a lot of cute heels that actually look like they're sandals like they've got a little open toe and then i've seen some really pretty ones with some ruffled details going up to them i'll have to put together some mood boards and show you but this is a very lovely piece it's a 1950s one as you can see it really has a lot of sparkle a lot of things that are really great about this particular piece is one it lays very nicely so it's got a flattering look and a flattering style to it uh second of all there's you can see even by just seeing it within the light here no dark stones so so, you know, no dark stones, uh, nothing with any sort of discoloration, uh, nothing with any of the foil loss behind the stones, which is something that we so frequently see when we see rhinestone pieces. Uh, and then last but not least, it is all prong set. But in addition to that, all of the pieces from behind are in the rhodium casing. Uh, so you also can see that this piece has been set very well and a very nice designer style piece. So another great one, definitely one of my favorites, something that you can easily enjoy being able to wear over and over again. And I can just think, you know, if somebody's looking for a, a way to wear it, uh, speak up and I'll give you about 10 different ways to wear it if you need the help. Okay, uh, you know, also I know some of you might have been excited to see the Kenneth J. Lane Dragonfly we had. This is why I'm saying, uh, if there's something that you have your eye on from the last collection when I opened up the vault, I probably would go and grab it because I know a lot of other people were looking forward to seeing the dragonfly and that one flew off to a new home too. We packed that one up yesterday as well. So lots of pieces off to new homes, which thank you so very much. Uh, but at the same time, we also, certain pieces, especially the designer ones, they're being very, they're being scooped up, which is another good thing to point out right now at this time, is that many of these pieces, because they're designer names, they really do retain their value. So lots of people like being able to add these. This is a little J hook. And of course, the reason why I wasn't getting it is because one, I had it stuck in my ponytail and two, I had the hook going in the wrong direction. So that's not going to help me love always being able to show how easily I can get these things on on my own. And now here we go. I am struggling to do it myself. So no, I'm not struggling to it. I just have to figure out where the loops are. 
All right. So this is the vintage Kenneth J. Lane. This is the Geisha necklace. Um, this one is a great piece in the sense that it is signed with the, I don't want to say nicer. I want to say that if you've ever looked and you've researched Kenneth J. Lane jewelry, there are nine different signatures on the back of it which is indica indicative of when those pieces were made. And some of them are signed, the very earliest signature is K.J.L in capital letters. Uh, and then there's a series of pieces that are signed Kenneth Lane, like this one, it has Kenneth up at the top and then Lane at the bottom, and then it has the copyright in the middle. Uh, there's other ones that have the copyright at the front and then say KJL after it. Um, there's other ones that have the copyright at the end, but there is a really great, sometime I'll put it up there. Sometimes there's a really great, and it does have all nine different ways that his name has been signed. And of course he has contracted with KJL for Avon. He's done Kenneth J. Lane with QVC. He has Kenneth J. Lane, his own website. And there's a variety of different signatures he has, but this one has a higher end signature from him. So this one was something that came directly from Kenneth J. Lane. It wasn't a collaboration with uh, QVC or anything like that. So this is one of his couture style pieces. Not that they're not all, because they're all couture style pieces, but this is a really cool larger statement necklace, as you can see. This is just great with a classic t-shirt or a black top. Remember, it'll look great against a higher neckline if you like a higher neckline neckline. Uh, and also it just has got really fun detailing with it. So she's got a really beautiful body. Uh, you can tell just a little bit here from how she looks that she has like her typical kimono style on. Uh, there's some little Asian characters, some happiness symbols on the side. Uh, and then there's a small piece of faux jade down here with the green that's sort of reminiscent of the bamboo. So this one's a really nice piece, it's definitely a collectible. So if you are a KJL collector, you may want to go ahead and add this one. Very comfortable, very easy to wear, and another piece that's super easy to dress up and dress down. And for those of you who know, when I was talking about things being part of the vault collection this week, Kenneth J. Lane is one of the ones that's very near and dear to my heart. I mean, I collect his pieces personally myself. So and there you go. And then uh, the signature for Kenneth Lane is right here in the back. That little oval cartouche that you see there uh, is his signature. So just a really, really nice one. Be sure to head on over to Vintage Meat Matter either now or after the show and take a look at all the detailing that you can see in her dress. Uh, you can see all the casting, uh, the way that the piece was made. Very, very lovely detailing. Uh, she has a nice sort of three-dimensional quality to it. So that is definitely another one of my favorites. Uh, for those of you who like heraldic jewelry uh, or like pieces that have more of a royal flair to it, we have a really cool bracelet this week. This one is not signed, but it has the feeling of Koro. Uh, this one has got these two sweet little shields on it, and they have a... It's sort of like a plume style on one side, and then it has an accent of some fleur de lis on the other. It's sort of a deep maroon color, and then it has set against the acanthus leaves. Uh, this one has a hinged opening, as you can see, with the safety chain as well. Uh, and for those of you, this one, it does. To me, it just has a very coro feeling to it, and it looks like something that you would see from one of the coro books in the 50s era, but it's not signed. Uh, but it is a really nice one, really easy to be able to stack and layer up with other bangles or other bracelets, which I really like doing. Uh, you can stack this one up really nicely. Let's see a couple of the other beautiful bracelets that we have tonight. Definitely one of my favorites. We have got this beautiful piece here. This is a textured geometric link, though the closer I look at it, the more it reminds me of some of the bamboo style pieces that we've had. But this is a vintage Napier. Uh, it has these rectangular links on it. And this one's a great one that if you wear a watch, you know, many of you see that I wear my vintage Cartier watch, uh, which was my aunt's that I inherited. Uh, this would look great with any kind of square watches you might have. So this is a super fun one, really easy. Uh, just a really nice, and I love the fact that it has a little bit of the textured link to it. So that's a fun piece. Uh, for those of you, you know, like I said, for those of you who also wear like even the chunkier Apple watches and things like that, you could still, you know, 
had to get my steps in today, right? So you can even wear this layered up with an Apple Watch because it still has the same sort of square kind of styling to it. And then also uh, there is a great Kenneth J. Lane bangle that we have. Uh, the Kenneth J. Lane bangle is it's a smaller wrist size. Uh, but again, this is another one that if you like being able to mix and match stuff, I mean, personally, when I'm working, no, not so much. I don't always wear bracelets, but when I go out to uh, dinner with my husband or I'm going to run errands, you know, especially since I'm not wearing uh, as much makeup and everything, I really do load up on my accessories when I go out. So even if it's just to go to the grocery store. So we've got a teeny tiny little Kenneth J. Lane bracelet. This is also signed KJL. And I really do like it layered up with this little naked bracelet. I think the texturing and the styling really matches each other really nicely. And I love gold. I mean, I just think gold is so fabulous. It's always warm. It's always elegant. Uh, who says I wear my 1950s pearl bracelet with my Apple watch all the time. That's awesome. I love that. Uh, I just recently started wearing more of it on the arm with that watch. Normally, I just wear them on the other side. Uh, but I just recently started trying to pick up more things that had geometric style links or had sort of uh, traditional tennis style links so that I could kind of mix and match with them to kind of pull up on that geometric square shape. So speaking of that, we've had because we were showing off all of those amazing rhodium style pieces that we had and we had that awesome Dior necklace and we had some great rhinestone pieces. Uh, we also have got some great rhinestone bracelets this week too. So this is by far just one of the most spectacular bracelets that we've ever had. So if you really love uh, those classic vintage rhinestone pieces, I feel like I'm getting like a little bit of the light is like very, very sparkly, very shiny. So this is uh, that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight row rhinestone bracelet. And then this is the Emerald CZ and classic Diamante CZ bracelet set in sterling silver. And boy, both of these are just absolutely spectacular on. Tons and tons of sparkle. And they look great with a lot of the other pieces that we have. We also have got this really fabulous pair of firework style ear crawler earrings, which are, are absolutely one of my favorites. And then we've had some really outstanding signer pieces. So we've got the Signer Gatsby bracelet. We've got this beautiful multi-roll. We have the emerald, which I had to include since, you know, we have St. Patrick's Day this week. I'm looking to see if I have anything else in the tray here that goes with these. Uh, we've got the beautiful firework style earrings. So yeah, so I love that sparkle. You know, me too. I can never get enough of it. That's what makes it so special. You know, you don't walk into the stores and you find these kind of pieces. And when you do, they usually have just the lucite stones. And then these are all the real crystal Swarovskis uh, with the plating on the back of it, which is why you get that amazing sparkly finish. And then of course they're cut crystal. So that's what makes them so much more unique and beautiful. And then the rhodium plating really brings the whole plate, the whole piece together. So I am always into statement earrings. I am obsessed with these, the ear crawler style uh, that goes up. These are the little waves and they go so pretty with so many of the other pieces that we have. Uh, you know, as I've told you many times, there's no easy way. Uh, yes, let's put that wide sparkly bracelet on and then let's tell me to let my hair calm down on this one side where it's giving me, I don't know, my hair actually is pretty good. I think it's just because I've been messing around with the necklaces today. So these earrings are awesome. Uh, I love them because they go up the ear, ear crawler style. I love them because they fan out like they're little fireworks. And I love that they go up versus going down. I have said many times before that one of the fun things or one of the things that I like most about clip earrings, besides the fact that I have metal sensitivity, so that's one of the reasons why I wear clip versus pierce. Uh, one of the things that I also really love about this is that I don't always wear dangling earrings. I frequently wear earrings that actually go up the ear because I like that statement earring size that goes up because if it's too heavy, I don't like anything that falls down on my lobe, which is traditionally why a lot of the times I actually wear the clip earrings also, though, because they fit more like a button or they fit more balanced because they're against the ear being larger versus just a single post inside your ear, which is something to keep in mind 
uh, for those of you who either feel like you have very thin earlobes, so that's why you don't wear earrings, or it's something for you to keep in mind if you've never really thought about how you can make clip earrings more comfortable. One of the beautiful things about wearing the clip earrings, as I mentioned, is they're very well balanced. So they sit completely against your ear versus putting the weight on them going down. So yeah, could we all just stay here all night long? And just watch how gorgeous this bracelet is because it is, it's really, really spectacular. Uh, and there's just so, so much sparkle and it's comfortable. It's really easy to wear too. It's definitely something that you could definitely throw on with just a black t-shirt and some jeans. Uh, you could make a real statement piece out of it. Uh, if you've ever, if she's not a blogger, she just is on Instagram. If you've ever followed a woman named My Inheritance, she does nothing but show off pieces from her collection of fine and vintage jewelry. And I'm not going to lie to you. She has an incredible collection of fine jewelry from Bulgari and 18 karat gold and things like that. But she does an amazing job of showing how she mixes her vintage and her modern together. And a lot of times she travels like out to the Southwest area. And so you see her all the time and she's got like a tank top on and maybe something like a pair of jeans and cowboy boots. And she just layers all of this stuff up with it. So I would definitely, if you're looking for inspiration besides how I do, um, how are the prongs? The prongs are set perfectly. I mean, you know, I mean, prongs are prongs. I mean, but there is no wear to any of the prongs. There's nothing that is sticking out that would give me a pause to say that it's not going to fit comfortably. I probably wouldn't wear it with a uh, marabou or uh, with a knit sweater that has a lot of loops on it. But I definitely think that, you know, there's a lot of ways to really be able to enjoy this. One thing, though, that I would like to point out, and I don't know if you can see it or not up there, but you could wear this over a cuff as well. If you wanted long sleeves, you could wear this sort of Chanel style. And I'm only referencing the picture of Coco behind me because, you know, many people talk about the Vidura cuff, which is, you know, she's actually pictured back there examining a cuff with with Vidora. She's admiring the one that, but you know, many times she wore those Vidora cuffs like actually over the fabric. So this is something that you could definitely be able to wear over a fabric. Uh, it would be great with three quarter inch long sleeves. Um, you know, I'm a huge fan of three quarter inch long sleeves but for different reasons other than just bracelets. I wash my hands a lot and I wash the dishes a lot and I'm washing things with the kids a lot. So I find that a three quarter inch sleeve actually gives me much more flexibility instead of constantly having to roll my sleeves up. So I do prefer a three quarter inch when I'm even wearing it as well as I'm very, if you've seen me a lot, I usually roll up my sleeves anyways, even when I have blouses on. And I have a lot of blouses from J. Crew, so I know you know that. Uh, yes, I love it over the sleeve. That's exactly what it is. There's so many different ways to be able to appreciate and enjoy being able to wear these pieces. And that's just something to keep in mind. So looking at the back and speaking of the prongs, you can also see that in terms of the way that things are connected with all of the little connectors in between it, uh, there's no wear to the back and the rhodium is an excellent you know, condition too. And then last but not least, a lot of people always say, oh, but I'm struggling to get things on or it has a safety chain, but I don't really know what to do with it because once I get it on, you can't. So the truth is this has got a wide enough safety chain on it that you can have the safety chain open and you don't have to struggle with the safety chain uh, trying to get it on or trying to get that teeny tiny little spring ring clasp um, you know, you can put it on and the safety chain is already connected and you won't even know it. So yes, it looks nice and smooth and it feels nice and smooth and it looks great with these earrings. <laughs> so, uh, same sort of round detailing that you see in this prong set bracelet, same sort of round detailing that you see with the ear crawlers. So fireworks season will be here before you know it. Okay, let's see, what else do we have here? Okay, for my girls who like silver and like layering chains, I also have got a great piece that is fantastic because this one actually has a magnetic clasp on it and it's so nice that uh, you can't even tell which side has the magnet on it. 
So for those of you who are looking for pieces that you can put on yourself very easily, oh, did you see there with me? There was no struggle. <laughs> there was no getting the class stuck in my head. So this one's a nice one because you can wear it sort of torsad style. I have to decide which side I like it, but I like which side I like, I prefer to wear my torsad on. So I tend to like to wear things to, remember the camera is the opposite direction for me when I'm on this computer. So I tend to like to wear things more on this side than that side. I mean, as you can see by the part in my hair. Uh, so I tend to wear things this way, but this one's also a nice one that if you want to be able to wear the loop in the center, you can. And I don't have a particular enhancer with now, but for those of you who are familiar with David Yerman, maybe you have a small Albion enhancer, you could definitely be able to clip a small Albion enhancer from either uh, David Yerman, or maybe you've got a small one from either Michael Dawkins. Lots of people have some Lagos jewelry, which by the way, he's doing all kinds of beautiful things right now as well. Uh, you can always slide a pendant or an enhancer if you have something that's on here like this. I was looking to see maybe if I had a brooch that I could just hook on here just to see if we could see how a brooch would hook on here. But at the moment, I don't have one that's small enough, but you could. You definitely could, especially if you had something going um, vertical versus horizontal. So for those of you who are my silver loving girls, um, this one's a really nice piece. It's easy to take on. It's easy to take off. It has the multi-strand flat link chain, um, sort of like a flat snake chain. Very comfortable, very easy to wear. Another one that for those of you who prefer the silver over the gold, this is a great one. It is an authentic vintage piece, but it really has a contemporary feel. And then, of course, there is the added bonus of the fact that it does have a very secure magnetic closure. Uh, so for those of you who struggle putting things on and off yourself, um, you don't need a doorman, a husband, a boyfriend, uh, your sister, your cousin, your children to help you put this one on. You can easily do it yourself. So uh, now it's time for me to talk about one of my favorites. It's like I didn't start off the show with all my favorites, but now I'm going to sort of segue and talk more about my favorites. Uh, we have a very beautiful, classic, uh, slightly textured bow. I collect bow jewelry myself, so I love anything that has a bow in it because I love being able to put it on a clutch. I love being able to put it on, uh, I love being able to put them on my coat. I love wearing them in a variety of different styles and ways. I like wearing them in the front. I like wearing them in the center. I love wearing them on cardigans. In fact, many of you have seen, I have a couple different cardigans. I have one from Francis Valentine. I have one from Kate Spade. I have a one from J. Crew that all have bows on them. And I just love bow jewelry. This one is a very rich and very elegant toned to it. It has a very slight texturing to it versus a very shiny detail on it. Uh, but this one is a very nice one. It's just a hint of rhinestones in the center. And also it is a little bit of a paler gold in tone and color. Let me just hold up that KJL piece where you can see that this is a little bit brighter. This one is a little bit, a uh, little bit of a paler tone to it, but it's definitely one that's very easy to wear. And it's also very light weight. So this is something that you can easily pin to your favorite knits and your thinner fabrics as we're getting ready to come into the spring and the summer season. But definitely a style that just never goes out of style. Uh, this will carry you through season to season over and over again. Uh, yes, and the size of this bow is great. It's not too big and it's not too small. I'm a bow person, so big bows suit me. I'm a small bow person, but this one is a nice size to easily be able to fill the side of a neckline and just to be able to enjoy wearing it over and over again. Plus, again, it has that small little detail in the center of having some of those little diamante uh, rhinestones. They are all little paste set ones. And it also has a pretty little mill green detail on the side of it, too. So if you like wearing other classic diamond jewelry, this one would be a pretty piece to mix with that. Okay, as long as I'm talking about my favorites, let's talk about another one of my favorites. All right, so you all know I'm also a huge Givenchy Couture fan, and I also really like Gucci too. Uh, so, and I like Hermes. So, you know, what can I say? I have champagne taste. So this is this gorgeous, and I mean absolutely gorgeous. Uh, this is the stirrup link necklace that we have this week. And this one is not signed, uh, but it does have the feel of a Givenchy Couture piece. Uh, it's probably not Givenchy, but it's probably of the same era of some of the pieces that are the higher quality pieces from uh, Excessive Craft, 
Uh, it might even fall into the craft category. It could fall into the category of uh, Yaska, Benamoon, some of those higher end designers that did a lot of gold work, uh, Irwin Pearl in the 70s and the 80s. So this one is just a great higher end classic design piece. You know, we've talked about the Gucci link and the horse bit link before. This one is sort of a stirrup link. It's got the one link that's elongated and then it has the uh, double. There's like a little double chain here in, versus a single one. And this one has also the look of real. But for those of you who are your true like Hermes scarf wearers and you just study Hermes, uh, and if you like the classic Gucci, you know, I've got a pair of classic Gucci pumps. I've got a pair of classic uh, interlocking G 1970s handbag. This is all sort of reminiscent of those same kind of iconic styles and designs that you would see with those types of designers. And also that very fashion forward in the sense that this is going to be a design that's going to be repeated over and over again. This is not something that's just going to go away like a trend. Uh, this one lays very nicely. It has a toggle clasp. Let's see if I can pull out right here. I do have some scarves here. Uh, so like, for example, I have like this little equestrian scarf here. So you can see it's another one that layers up really nicely. And you can wear it with a variety of different colors as well, too. I've obviously got it on with the blue. But you can do it definitely with different shades of neutrals. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Uh, this is a French... Courge scarf. I think I showed you this one. This one is the one that was framed by an interior designer. It's another French scarf. Uh, but this one's another great one. I mean, I have navy blue on, but let's just see the way that this looks with the orange, as long as I've got it here. You can see how it looks with the brighter colors as well, too. So, you know, for those of you, um, again, I don't mean to call out Marie again, but we were talking about coral. Uh, so for those of you who are looking to be able to add some coral, uh, because I know that that's definitely a trending color that you may be seeing in every place from Chico's Devon Mar to Banana Republic, that if you're adding coral to your spring or your summer palette, even though this is a gold tone, you can see how beautiful it looks with brighter colors as well, too. I don't mean to be turning around here. Uh, and also, well, this is another amazing scarf. This thing is like... <laughs> This is a Picasso uh, from the 1960s era. Uh, it's a Picasso printed scarf. And for those of you who are looking for something that just literally goes with everything in terms of coloring, again, here comes that orange color. But again, whatever you put it with, if you put it with the creams, if you put it with the blues, if you put it with the red, Let's see what else it's got here. It's got that golden color. You know, you can just see how this will literally go with anything that you have. So especially for those of you who are brighter colors, you would never, this piece would never let you down. <laughs> That's the way that I feel about it. Uh, I just always feel that way about these pieces. And it's just, it's very well made too. It, uh, it's not hollow. It does have a nice cast to it. And as you can see, it's got the nice link that's in between. Uh, so it's very well made, very well articulated. It does not have like a little shoddy clasp on the back. It's got a very nice large toggle and you can, you can feel it when you put it on. It's not super, it's, it's light and weight enough to wear it comfortably every day, but it is also a really nice piece to be able to know that you can feel it. It does have that look and feel of real, which is a lot of what I talk about when I talk about the quality of the jewelry. Okay, so I pointed out a few weeks ago that we had a flat style Omega chain necklace that was very similar. This is a vintage Avon. Uh, I pointed out a couple weeks ago that we had a very nice necklace that was comparable to the $800 Saks Fifth Avenue necklace, as well as the $300 necklace that they have over at Brooks Brothers. And this one fits the bill. <laughs> so this one is, again, just another classic style. I really enjoy being able to show you pieces that have a lot of flexibility. And that's exactly what this piece has, is flexibility. So this one I always like because it does have that Egyptian revival. It has a goddess style to it, and it's just very easy to be able to wear. 
for those of you who say to me, Veronica, I love the way that this is. And I know that you would wear this with jeans and a t-shirt for going out, but I don't know if I would commit to that. This is a kind of piece that you can commit to that you can feel really nice about. It's also an investment that is way less than the $395 and the $750 price range that you're seeing uh, at some of the other luxury brands. And believe me, I shop at Saks and I shop at Brooks Brothers too. But the best part about it is, is when you get the necklace that's like this, you can still get something from Brooks Brothers and you can still get something from Saks Fifth Avenue instead of having the one piece. Uh, it's also fun because this piece is very well made. I want to be able to talk about the quality again of the pieces that you see that you don't necessarily find that kind of detail, even though this is a very simple piece. What makes this piece a really great piece is this one is a fold over class, but I've talked about this again before. This piece actually has a double section that's in it. So for those of you who like wearing something that's a little shorter, see, I'm going to show you right here. Those are the kinds of details that you see that you get to appreciate over and over again when you shop the vintage pieces and you take a closer look at them. And also what really is nice about the pieces that we work hard and I work hard to find for you is, is that here in many cases you wouldn't have found this piece with the extra extender put into it. But that's the reason why we try to find things that are very easy for you. So as you can see, there's no metalware, there's no rust, there's no greenies, there's no discoloration, uh, very lightweight a classic piece very easy to wear and something that's just never going to go out of style so that's another fun piece that i have that i enjoy this week and i'm glad that i can show you all right uh another piece that i love this week uh you, lots of classic signer pieces signer is the oldest costume and designer jewelry company in the country they've been in business for over 130 years all the pieces are made right there in new york city off of 38th street uh, great quality, incredible workmanship. Uh, this one has got a very heavy chain on it, and then it has the coin motif that is in the center of it. This one's nice because the coin has a silver tone to it. Uh, it has a little bit of an oxidation or a little bit of an antique look and feel to it. And this one has a fold in clasp, and this is another great piece to layer. So for those of you who might have some fine jewelry or some other coin jewelry, um, this is a great one. And I wish I had a thinner like herringbone style chain to show you how you could kind of frame it up with a smaller piece. But this is another one that lays super nice. And what's nice about this one is it's longer. So I know many of you are often on the hunt for the longer necklaces. And you know, vintage runs all over the map. So, you know, you find those 1960s, 1970s statement pieces that are longer that, you know, have are intended to be worn with the tassels or the Hong Kong necklaces or the beads. So it's definitely, and then of course we see all of those fabulous styles from the late 60s, very early 70s from Chaprofari and Napier and Kenneth J. Lane and Signer. But then of course we have the daintier style pieces from the new look era from the 1950s, more of your 15 and 16 inches, but there's always a little bit of something for everybody. So the coin jewelry is also another one that's just always classic and it always is in style. So, and then think about all the different amazing revivals that's gone through the eighties, uh, Versace, we're thinking about Dolce and Gabbana, uh, all of those really bold supermodel looks from the nineties, you know, coin jewelry is something that's always going to be in style. Uh, it does have that Royal mogul style to it. So that's another cool feature to it. But also I really like, like being able to point out that that's exactly what it has. You're getting that couture look and feel when you add pieces like this to your collection. And also they're heavy. They're well made. This isn't like a, this isn't, I guess you could say a piece that, you know, you feel like it's like lucite or anything like that. Like, you know, the coin and the casting is like real casting. And I've been to Signer before. There's videos up, up on YouTube visiting. I can tell you that all of these pieces are really hand cast. The molds are hand carved. So just very cool stories and very wonderful workmanship. So if you're looking to buy American, if you're looking to buy a piece that's always going to hold its value and you're looking for something for that high end couture look and feel, I would take a closer look at this one because you'll really enjoy adding this one to your collection too. So we've got that piece. Um, speaking of signer, let's go ahead and talk about, I have a very large Pave tulip brooch. 
So this is a very large tulip brooch. This one fills the entire side, as you can see. Uh, this one's like over three and a half inches long. And it does, again, have all of the stones that are hand set. Uh, this is another American made piece, all hand cast. Uh, it has got absolutely beautiful sparkle. If you loved the bracelet earlier that I showed you, if you love some of the rhinestone pieces, you won't be disappointed when you take a closer look at this one. Uh, very nice detailing. It's got some sort of three dimensional design to it. Nowhere to the plating hallmark signer underneath the bar there. And uh, for those of you who just love wearing classic black or classic solid colors, as you can see, this is another one that's really easy to wear against your solid colored pieces. But don't think that you are limited to just putting this with darker, bold colors. Let's see what else I can pull out of here for the drawer. Okay. So I also have a vintage Christian Dior scarf. So you can see the way that if you like wearing more of your pastels, and this has got like the purples and the silvers and the gold tones running through it. This is obviously something that you can easily wear with, you know, your different kinds of colors with your pastels. Again, you're not limited to just black. Let's see what else we have here. You're certainly not limited to being able to wear it with red. Looks really beautiful against your classic bright red color. I should just pull some of these out and use them more often. Uh, let's see. Here's a lighter shade of blue. This is another vintage Hermes scarf. Um, this one's got like little powdery blue tones running through it. You can see the way that you can put this against this. And oh, isn't this neat? This actually has like a lot of different flowers that have been mixed into it. So, um, so yeah, so just think about that when you're thinking about the fact that if you love wearing solid colors, this is something that's going to pop against it. But if you like wearing lots of different colors or patterns or things like that, you can see that even with different muted tones, how pretty this looks with it as well. So another really awesome, great piece. Uh, love that one. You know, somebody definitely will enjoy having that one in their collection for years to come. And it's definitely one that you can enjoy wearing year round, too. That one will look really dynamic and really fabulous against a uh, classic black coat in the winter. So then head on over to Coat Check. You know, they're also my favorite people in Chicago. Uh, head on over to Coat Check, and then you can also find uh, an awesome coat to go with it. And, you know, she's not just limited to winter coats. She always has really beautiful spring ones, too. All right, uh, I love Sarah Coventry. This is part of the Americana series. I can see you got my red lipstick, got my red nails. Uh, this one is the red, white, and blue. It is a 1970s piece. I think 1972 or 1973 specifically, if I can think about it. Uh, the Americana piece is a really nice one. For those of you who have the brooch converters, this one is a very pretty one to actually be able to wear. Uh, this one is actually a very pretty one to be able to wear as a pendant. And also another one that looks very pretty, as you can see, against the navy blue here. And again, I don't think you're limited to just wearing these pieces around 4th of July, Memorial Day, Labor Day. I love anything that has the classic red, white, and blue in it. And I don't have handy with me right here, right now. But for those of you who like being able to mix milk glass with your pieces, I always love mixing red, white, and blue with milk glass. So this one is another really pretty piece. And we just happen to have the matching earrings too. So if you love having a set, you can. If you're not a brooch wearer, again, remember the beauty of having a really fabulous pair of earrings, especially a pair of clip ones, is that they are well balanced and they fit completely against the ear. So very comfortable, very easy to wear. I get used to them a little bit, but I'm telling you, it's easier to wear clip earrings than you think. I always tell people, if you can wear heels, if you can wear pantyhose, if you can do a lot of things that women do, you can wear a pair of clip earrings. They will become comfortable, I promise you. So these are the matching earrings that go with the Americana brooch. Uh, as you can see, they pop really nicely. We talked a little bit about lipstick yesterday. Remember, if you wear red lipstick, this is another one that's really easy to be able to wear with other sizes. And again, you're not limited to just wearing the brooch. If you like being able to wear uh, the milk glass pieces, this looks really pretty with milk glass as well. So, and of course, you can do it with other red. You know, you're not limited to that. And of course, you can put it with different shades of cream too. Uh, but this is going to pop with a lot of different things. You know, don't be afraid, again, as I introduce color, 
don't be afraid to mix it with different shades of colors and things like that. You're not limited to just wearing it with white, red, blue. You can definitely be able to wear this with other different colors as well also. So that's another fun, another great piece that we have this week. Alrighty, speaking of Christian Dior and Art Deco styling, so we've sold a lot of bigger, a lot of bolder pieces, uh, but this is a 1980s, uh, very collectible logo here, Christian Dior piece. Of course, you know that the Christian Dior from Kramer, if you were waiting here to see it live, uh, it was, like I said, it was packed off and it's off to a new forever home. Um, and so congratulations to that lucky lady that added it to their collection uh, because it was just absolutely outstanding. It really was. And it was in pristine condition. I mean, pristine. Uh, if you went online and you saw the story about how that Marilyn Monroe wore a version of it in the sort of, it was like a pinky and a purple tone. Uh, she wore it in one of the scenes from Gentlemen for Blondes and the earrings and the bracelet set were going for like over $360,000. The original pieces from the movie are available. And yes, I know that the collectability of Marilyn wearing it is different than what we had. But if you read the listing closing, it said that it had missing stones and had wear to the bracelet which is cool, but at the same time, it's fun to point out that we have the exact same piece from the exact same era uh, from 1953, and ours was in absolutely pristine condition. So that's one of the really beautiful things about Vintage Meat Modern. We're always working really hard to find pieces that are of a high quality. But for those of you who are looking for something that's a little daintier, uh, this is a vintage Christian Dior necklace. Uh, for those of you especially who like something that's a little more minimalist style or maybe you wear a lot of classic black, this is a great piece because the size and the scale of it makes it really easy to be able to be worn by a variety of different people. I am always a go big or go home girl, uh, but for those of you who are attracted to the vintage jewelry pieces, but you are don't really think that you have enough time to wear some of the bigger, bolder pieces. Well, one, I would encourage you to try it because you'll fall in love with it. Uh, but for a second of all, though, if you're looking for something a little daintier, this is beautiful. But I do want to point out that uh, this is, again, a perfect example of a designer name. It is Christian Dior. It's authentic Christian Dior, and it will retain its value. So those pieces, if you go ahead online and, you know, you want to look up, you want to just troll on eBay, you're going to see that these pieces retain their value as well as, you know, we're always trying to offer you something that's just as you know, a good value even compared to what you find even on other places. So we want you to be able to enjoy and add these types of pieces to your collection. And this one's a nice one. It's like I said, an easy peasy piece to be able to wear. You can also wear this one with a white collar uh, and or a black shirt and just have kind of fun with it. So and it just has just the right hint amount of rhinestones to really be able to enjoy it, too. So. All right, as long as I'm talking about black and gold, I might as well talk about, so the last few weeks, the other thing that has been hot here are daisies. Woo, we haven't been able to keep daisy jewelry in stock. Uh, so I have a sweet little pair of Joan Rivers earrings. Uh, these are, and you all know I love Joan. I love Joan the same way that I love Kenneth J. Lane because the quality is so good. And if you've ever read Joan Rivers books, or even just watched her on TV when she still talked about her own fashion line and her own jewelry line. She had a, like, not quite Elizabeth Taylor, but she definitely was known for her collection of fine jewelry that she had collected her whole entire life. She was another jewelry aficionado. And many of the pieces that she designed, uh, she designed in mind with things that either reminded her of fine jewelry collections that she had or of other styles that she had seen. Uh, so these are a sweet little pair, kind of a little huggy or shrimp style, as they say, of a pair of black earrings that have the black enamel work with the yellow and the white daisy on them. They're a very sweet size. And again, daisies have just been really, really hot here. So I wanted to make sure that I pointed out that these are a great pair of daisy earrings that we have. Uh, again, things that go really nicely with lots and lots of different colors. So you're not just limited to wearing it with black or cream. Although I did have these on with polka dots and it looked really, really sweet, but you can very easily be able to wear these with lots of different colors and you can enjoy them going into your spring 
your summer and your fall season. And of course, we all know that the classic yellow and white will pop against whatever you have. And the other thing is that um, they're again, they're very well balanced and they're very easy to wear. Uh, they are not too heavy. And also they've got the little rubber grippers on the back, which makes them even more comfortable. And they also have a very nice plating on them. So let's see, can we hear the snap test? Close enough. They are nice and secure and tight. Okay, let's see. What else do we have here that we're missing? Uh, again, we have another cool bamboo bracelet. This one is another vintage Napier. This one has got the safety chain on it too. Again, for those of you who are silver girls, this is another fun piece. Super easy one to be able to wear, obviously, with our spring and summer season coming into it. Plus, bamboo is every place. I mean, it is literally just everywhere. Uh, that grand millennial movement and the love of all things chinoiserie and bamboo and Henry Link, uh, it's just, it's everywhere. I, I was strolling through Hobby Lobby and they had bamboo inspired uh, prints in the art department, uh, which were really fun. They were like blue and white and had accents of hot pink. So it was really nice. But Bamboo is everywhere. It's definitely trending. Uh, you can definitely be able to wear this. Again, I have this on from Banana Republic. I've seen similar styles to things with it. But even that, thinking back, I mentioned that I have a pair of classic Gucci shoes. And they have got like the classic red and green and black ribbon going across it. And what is holding it right in the center? A piece of bamboo. Uh, and they're like an early pair of 1980s vintage uh, Gucci pumps. So again, another very classic style and design, very high end, and it's just never going to go out of style. And this one's a nice thick one. It's also a hinged bangle style. So it has a push and clasp. It has a safety chain. And if we listen carefully... You can hear it snap, very nice, secure. All right, we have some sweet little pink. Wait, Easter's gonna be here before you know it. So I know that this collection had a lot of gold and a lot of really large rhodium plates, uh, but also we will be definitely showcasing more pieces that have got your pastels that are in it. So for those of you who like your more pastel-y colors, we have got a very pretty pair of little pink earrings that we have here. And pink is again trending too. I just treated myself to a really pretty bright pink uh, wrap top from White House Black Market. Uh, I also saw that they were showing pink with a lot of lighter colored denim, which I think is also really a pretty combination. Uh, but as always, it's a little bit more of a bright, vibrant pink. So we've got some sweet little pink Aurora Borealis cluster earrings. And then we also have a sweet pair of little pink. And again, just like look at how pretty this pink looks with this. And this is this is a fun scarf. This one's one for my own personal collection. But this is a vintage Dior one, and it looks like it has got some license plates on it. Kind of a fun one. So for those of you who like wearing, though, the pink tones or the purples or even this, like how fun is this that it's got the yellow that's mixed in with it, too? Uh, but for those of you who like wearing this sort of style, we've got definitely some fun pieces this week that go with it. So uh, if you're not into clip earrings, don't forget that... Your classic screwbacks are also, this I love because they have this princess sort of halo style design. I don't know if Madison Sharp is on here. Uh, and for those of you who are on here who I'm not saying specifically your name, I never reveal people's <laughs> identity. Uh, some of you are so loyal and have been here for so many weeks. Uh, for those of you who don't know, or for those of you who are just joining us, we have the longest running vintage jewelry show on Facebook. So we've done this for three plus years, which if you could help a girl out or help Vintage Meet Modern out and share it or tag a friend, we'd absolutely love you for that. Uh, because we want to be able to keep producing a quality show as well as getting to talk to all of you about the jewelry. But I know Madison Sharp is a customer of ours. She's a younger girl. She's a culinary. She graduated from culinary college. And I believe she's being moving to North Carolina, maybe to work for a restaurant. And uh, she loves this halo princess style, which either traditionally either has the round center or the oval center stone and then has got a halo of stones going around it. And as you can see, these are very easy to wear during daytime or to be able to wear dressed up or dressed down. 
I love these so much that I would love to be able to show you, for those of you who are in my private styling group, I will be more than happy to show you the blouse that I bought from White House Black Market because I think this would look amazing with those. So for those of you who like wearing pink or different shades of pink, this one is a definitely a very fun one. Super, super, super cute. So I love these. Uh, and I'm kind of winding down here. I mean, we did have a lot of jewelry this week, though. Uh, and there's a lot of pieces that, as I like to put it, they're still up for adoption. <laughs> We've got a lot of awesome pieces. I'd love for you to help me clear the trays. So uh, tell your friends, <laughs> pick something nice for yourself. Uh, remember that one of the best parts about the spring and the summer season is, is that it's very easy to wear things like T-shirts and blouses. Uh, without all the bulk of bulky sweaters. So you can definitely be able to, oh, we've got a sweet pair of shoe clips. These are great. These are little rhinestone waterfalls. And again, if you haven't checked it out, again, if you're not in my private Facebook group, I also did put up a picture of there. There's a really sweet pair and I collect Francis Valentine too. So I love Kate Spade and I love Francis Valentine. There is a pair of $398 satin, flats though that she has and a pair of mules also they have these or something very similar to on them and they're 398 dollars you can get these for a fraction of the price and then you can be able to change your shoes to look different ways so i happen to be a big fan of shoe clips i have shoe clips in my own collection too so you know this is just part one of the vault veronica's vault is actually very big very deep with lots and lots of different pieces in it but lots and lots of different styles too uh, we've got a great classic black lucite necklace. This one is another bubble bead. I love this one. Uh, this one's actually pretty because you can see my shirt is more of a blue than it is a navy. But this is actually a color combination that I like a lot. I like being able to wear the blue with the black and the white too. So this one's a fun one. And so this one's a nice one. This one actually has a pair of uh, matching earrings that go ahead along with it too. So for those of you who are looking for something that's kind of fun to be able to pop on and here, I'm going to scoot away for just a second. You can do this with two different things very easily. See as I roll back, uh, this looks very cute. The black and the white with hot pink. So for those of you who like being able to wear black and white with hot pink, this is a great uh, spring color palette. And for those of you who really like just wearing classic black and white, you can so easily, let's just put this up over here. You can still easily be able to literally wear black and white jewelry with polka dots. And it looks really cute too. It's not overdone at all. Uh, it just has more of a mod look and kind of more of a fun retro feeling, even though um, you might be having both a bigger dot or a smaller dot. It's not overdone, especially if you do it correctly with each other and just have fun with it. So this actually tucked into a pair of pink pants would be really cute. So, so yeah, so that's my show. We have got a lot of gorgeous pieces. Uh, I know that we, uh, you know, we had some really great kind of Jaylene pieces, but for those of you who are joining us tonight, we've got some really nice kind of Jaylene pieces that are here too. Uh, we've had so many beautiful pieces uh, this week and there's just a ton of pieces that you can really be able to enjoy uh, and wear over and over again and, you know, really limitless possibilities. So we've got all kinds of gorgeous pieces, lots of really pretty golds and colors. And we've got all kinds of beautiful pieces that just really dynamic pieces that you just can't find anywhere else. And I hope with me kind of giving a background, sort of talking a little bit about, you know, some of the styles that I'm looking at and some of the things that I'm kind of thinking about for spring and summer, both things that I will either pull out of my closet or I will, um, you know, when I freshen up my own look this spring, these are all the types of things that I'll be adding. And so these are all examples of real vintage jewelry that you can wear with the things that you might either be refreshing your look with this spring or just rotating and pulling out because you haven't seen them since the fall. And of course, everything here is also appropriate to be able to wear on regular occasions. So you can definitely be able to enjoy these. And as the world is beginning to open back up, or even maybe if you're going to be doing, you know, a little more things that are enjoyable, like outdoor things like 
having a glass of the wine on the patio or having some tea with some friends, you know, in the sunroom or going back to being part of book club or things like that. Lots of pieces that you can easily wear. Uh, lots of great pieces that you can wear for your Sunday services that will still look nice with a dress or if you're doing kind of a dressy casual look to go. A lot of pieces that are just very easy to be able to wear with what real woman, uh, you know, wear. So that's truly what Vintage Meet Modern is all about. It's vintage with your modern style and it has to be comfortable and wearable too if i can do it with three children uh running around and also taking care of parents and then you know i have that crazy labradoodle uh if i can do it you can do it too so all right well that is my show i want to thank the lovely leanne can everybody give leanne a round of applause for uh dropping all the links to everything that we have here tonight we've got so many gorgeous pieces Oh man, I didn't even talk about this one. This is that multi-strand from West Germany. And look at how fabulous that black looks with blue. There's just a ton of pieces. Uh, and I really do want you to go over and take a closer look at things. And as always, if you're catching this on the replay, uh, please don't hesitate to ask questions, get in touch with us. That's what we're here for. Same thing, though, for those of you who are joining us live now, uh, you know, we'll definitely be more than happy to be able to answer your questions. Again, look at how pretty this looks with just like different shades of pink. So you're going to all head on over to Blackout White House Black Market and now buy everything that's in pink there and then find the perfect jewelry to go with it here at Vintage Meat Modern. Um, that's what I'm going to do. So, <laughs> All right. It's been a great show. I'm so glad that we got to spend time with each other tonight. Uh, I want to let you all know that it means more than you know that we get to connect this way. And more than anything, I hope that this will inspire you to look and feel your best, uh, to share your sparkle everywhere you go, and to remember that the world is a more beautiful place with you in it. So everybody have a fantastic evening. Head on over to Vintage Meet Modern and take a look at some of the awesome pieces that we're showing you tonight. Tell a friend that we exist or invite them to love the joy of jewelry and this great community together because Vintage Meat Modern is so much more than jewelry. It's a movement and it's a community of beautiful women from all over the world too. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I can't wait to see what all of you pick. Uh, and of course, everyone have a fantastic St. Patrick's Day and I will see you all again real soon. Bye.